Hey guys, we're going on an expedition. We're going back to Malpelo, but this time we're going on a different boat, embarking from a different country, and going during a La Nina year. So I'm not sure what to expect, but it's going to be an adventure. Hey guys, I'm in Cali, Colombia. From here, we're transferring to Buenaventura, which is where we're gonna board the MV Ferox. Now, I haven't been on this boat before, but from what I can tell, it's unlike any liveaboard that I've been on, and, and that's because in its former life, it was an ice-class Swedish Navy ship. Uh, it's built with like an 11 millimeter steel hull, so that's all very comforting given that Malpelo is roughly 500 kilometers to the west of the Colombian mainland. It takes roughly 30 hours to get there. And so here's to a smooth crossing. Welcome to Malpelo. Our crossing was a little bit rough, but here on the island, conditions are super flat, which is really nice because Malpelo is a small rock and there's basically no cover from the open ocean. The Zodiacs are in the water and we start our first dive in 10 minutes. See you down there. That just about wraps up our week of diving here in Malpella. You never know what the ocean's gonna give you, but I'd say we had a pretty good week. We had humpback whales around the boat, which is not that common around here. A couple whale shark sightings, very curious Galapagos and silky sharks, and huge schools of fish. I'd say the highlight for me personally was our dive at Aquario, where we saw a lot of different species in really immense schools. Uh, jacks, bonitos, pompanos, mullet snapper, even a, a school of barberfish, which I didn't know was a thing. Very beautiful. 
La Navera was also on fire. That's often a crowd favorite here. I'm sure next time a different dive site will take the cake. That's just how Malpelo goes. But if you're an experienced diver and you're thinking about coming to Malpelo, I can't recommend the Ferox and her crew enough. You know, this operation's only been running since 2018, but it's already a very well-oiled machine with a focus on safety that I don't really see on a lot of liveaboards. You know, Captain Tony, who oversees the operation, clearly has a mindset of continuous improvement, and I'm really looking forward to coming back and adventuring with the Ferox and her crew again soon. So until next time, Dive hard. you enjoyed that I certainly enjoyed making it I just wanted to make you aware of project silky which is basically a donated catamaran and its small crew that patrols the island of Malpelo for illegal fishing they're literally the only ones that actually enforce the marine park rules and I had the opportunity to talk with them and learn about what they're doing and the issues that they're dealing with so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you soon Please subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell so you don't miss the episode. But in the interim, I'm gonna leave a link to their organization and their GoFundMe page in the description. It's a very direct way to support the animals you saw in the video, so thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.